And uh, our man of the hour, Karusha, good evening. How are you? Uh, very well, thank you. Well, how's America? America is fine, but what about you? What about you on the ground, especially given the 1-0 win um, against the Black Stars? Oh, no, everything is fine. I think the boys are going to celebrate today. Uh, We're very proud of the boys, uh, the way they have played, the way they have carried themselves out. It's a super group. The coach, Heaven now has been fantastic. You know, we are motivators. Uh, we, are, we came here with uh, a great aspiration. And, um, you know, nobody would have given us any chance uh, to go to the final, but we are there now. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Later in the program, of course, we'll give you, the audience, a chance to call and talk with our guests. The number to call is 202-619-3111. The U.S. country code is 1. Let me stay with you very, very briefly. Uh, Karusha, of course, uh, you are right now uh, in Equatorial Guinea. Can you tell us again uh, what the mood is like, really? Give us a sense of the mood, especially among your boys on the ground right now. No, the, the, mood, has, <laughs> the mood has been uh, electrifying. Uh, you know, too many congratulations uh, from back home, from Zambia, everybody. You know, from the, the president of the republic and the, with, um, Michael uh, Sata, everybody, uh, the, you know, ministers. We have the Honorable Minister of Sport here, uh, Honorable Kambuili, the, the boys, the sons. Everybody's calling to, to congratulate the boys. So yeah, I, I can't describe, you know, it's a wonderful day in my life. Uh, today, I never thought that we would be able to see a day when Zambia will be able to go and play in the final of the Africa of Nations. So we're delighted more than uh, words can even uh, explain. What about uh, the penalty awarded to the Black Stars uh, in the eighth minute? Uh, was, to what extent was that a scare? Well, I think that uh, the referee's decision is final. Uh, you know, but we were prepared for everything. Uh, we, we said to ourselves, no matter what happens, we have to do. Uh, you know, we, we played against Libya and uh, we came back uh, against Libya, you know, two, we had two goals down and we came back uh, every time. And so the boys have been motivated. Uh, we have had uh, one uh, uh, time when we were behind in the, uh, on, the, on the score sheet, but we came back. So we were determined that even if they scored, we would come back. There are some people who have already begun to say that uh, Zambia may very well be the team of destiny. Is that something that uh, you share or you believe in? Uh, sorry, come again. There are some people who are beginning to look at you and say that uh, Zambia may perhaps be a team of destiny, that it may very well be the team to beat. Yeah, I yeah, know. We, I mean, we, there were 16 teams here. Uh, you know, undoubtedly so. We had uh, big teams like Ghana, uh, Senegal. Uh, we still have Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, the host nations, I think, Gabon played some magic football. Uh, Equatorial Guinea was superb here in Bata. Unfortunately, they went out to a very, very good team, which is the Cote d'Ivoire. And, um, you know, we, we have, um, you know, rode our luck, uh, but playing good football, you know, believing in ourselves. And slowly, slowly, the boys have started to believe in themselves. And, and I think that is the most important. But it's been a, been a fantastic tournament so far for us. Karusha, talk to us a little bit about um, what happened back uh, in 1993, uh, when perhaps uh, Zambia's best 11 ever, some might say, perished in an aircraft crash. Uh, a team, of course, uh, that uh, you were supposed to be part of. How were you able to escape that tragedy? No, no, I was, uh, I was, uh, uh, I was playing in, uh, in, uh, in PSV Eindhoven as a professional and captain of the, the former team. And so I used to travel directly, you know, because of the flight arrangements in Africa. I used to travel directly from, the, from my base in Holland to go to, to play. And so the team started off from, uh, from Zambia and unfortunately off the coast of Gabon, you know, the team, uh, the team uh, perished. But uh, we, 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 we have a generation of new players. We have tried, we tried our best, you know, to, so that their name can live in honor. It's always difficult. You can't bridge a generation of players. You can't replace one human being with another human being. So we're, we're now the boys are in their time, you know, it's 19 years later. And uh, I'm, I'm happy, you know, that uh, the boys are doing justice to, you know, to, to the name of the Polo Polo who died off the coast of the boat. If the boys were uh, present today, they would be proud of this team. And uh, I, I'm sure that uh, a lot of comparisons will be made to this team. And we are, we are very glad that, uh, you know, the people will be able to appreciate, come to appreciate our good football. 
Karusha, take us in the minds of each of these uh, f Zambian footballers. Uh, what is in their mind right now? What do they think they need to do, they must do, in order to go back to Lusaka with the whole Encharada? Oh, you know, I don't know what is in their minds. <laughs> but I know that we have a super motivated coach. We have a super motivated, uh, we have a super motivated players. Uh, we came here and we said, guys, believe in yourself. Can you believe in yourself? We have one opportunity, one crack at this, and let's give it our best shot. And, um, you know, slowly, slowly, like I said, the boys have started to believe in themselves, playing good football. We believe in the system that we are playing. Uh, we believe in our tactical approach. Uh, we've been spot on. The substitutes have come in and made a difference. So everybody, it is, everybody's, uh, uh, it is everybody's result. And uh, we're so glad that the people back home uh, really appreciate the efforts of the boys. What are the facilities like? I'm talking about uh, the logistics on the ground. Uh, we look at uh, very beautiful pictures of... Uh, some of the uh, stadiums, they look like uh, the latest uh, in the state of the art stadiums, so to speak. What are the facilities like, Kalusha? Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear that one. I'm asking about the facilities on the ground, the stadiums, for example. No, very good. Very good. The culture of Guinea has done exceptionally well. Government invested a lot of money. Uh, we're playing in, uh, I think, probably, if I might say, myself, because Zambia has played almost uh, five games here. Uh, I think uh, four, four games. Sorry, we played here, and I think Bata is uh, probably the, the the best stadium. Uh, if you compare or the biggest stadium, if you compare to the wonderful uh, monument that they have in uh, in Gabon, where the final is going to be played. Uh, but the facilities have been so uh, spot on. The guys have worked extremely hard, and uh, it's been a well organized tournament. Um, you know, ev everything has gone according to plan, and uh, we congratulate the people of Gabon and Ecuador and Guinea for fantastic uh, facilities. What about the attendance? How good has the attendance been? Because some reports suggest that uh, there have been a lot of empty seats in some of those beautiful stadiums. Uh, sorry, the line is drifting. Sorry, the, li the line is going away. I, can't, I couldn't hear the last question. Karusha, I was asking you about uh, the attendance. How good has the attendance been? Because we've had reports that uh, some of the seats, really, a lot of seats, have been empty. Yes, I, unfortunately, you know, the, uh, when the host team went, you know, uh, okay, well, in Kotoro Guinea, with all uh, due respect to them, they, uh, it's, uh, it's a small country, there's not too many people. Uh, but uh, but we, 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 you know, we've been happy with the football that has been played. Uh, it, we would have loved that more people come to watch uh, our team and our matches. Uh, uh, when we played the first match here, and Equatorial again also played uh, here at, uh, in the opening ceremony, uh, the, the field was, was completely full. So we, we hope that there will be more people uh, in the final, if I can talk about the final in, in uh, Libreville. The last finals, of course, uh, were held in Angola. Uh, how would you compare and contrast, for example, uh, the standard of play the standard of logistics and the attendance between where you are now and Angola last year? Well, I think that Angola is a predominant footballing country. Uh, always the teams uh, who are playing in Angola, the, the club teams, they have a lot of success in African football. So, and the population is uh, much, much, much higher than uh, Gabon and the Guinea. So, uh, you know, you cannot compare. But the facilities, I think they will compare. Uh, there are more people... Uh, we, hope, we just hope that the people can uh, enjoy the, uh, today's uh, semi-final with, with uh, uh, Cote d'Ivoire and Mali, and of course the third and fourth in Malabo, and then the final.